his death. I don't want to be the judge and jury. I believe God has that ultimate authority and uh, one day and in uh, his case it has now he's standing in front of the dear Lord and uh, he'll be the judge. The residents of Avoyles Parish are breathing a sigh of relief tonight as word that convicted serial killer Derek Todd Lee has died. My personal reaction is uh, he was on death row. He was convicted of the crimes. Um, you know, ultimately he was going to die. Uh, and that's obviously what happened. Lee was on death row for another murder, but was also serving a separate life sentence for the second degree murder of Geraldine Bar de Soto, who was killed in Addis, but was a Simsport native. The reaction to any death, it's, uh, it's tragic. And uh, I'm not saying he deserved what he got, but I can't imagine the the influence and the, the, the tragedy and the never-ending struggle that the families he affected, the victims, uh, those families have to go through on a daily basis. I'm sure it's something they recollect. She was a, a very hard worker, a, a person who really cared about the students around her. The people we spoke with today didn't say much about Lee. However, Garland Foreman covered Geraldine Barr in high school and remembers her well. A very hard worker. I covered her in basketball. She played basketball at Avalls High her uh, freshman, sophomore, and junior year. Uh, she uh, finished high school after her junior year and then went to LSU. And that's uh, she was still in school in graduate. She had just registered for uh, graduate school either that day or the day before uh, she was killed in Addis. The details surrounding Derek Todd Lee's death have not yet been released, but one thing's for certain here around Avoyles Parish, the residents are breathing a sigh of relief. In Avoyles Parish, Bennett Rowland Jr., ABC 31 News.